Hello everyone, this is a Simplex 4003 voice control panel. These were first produced in the early 1990s. The 4003 provided voice capability to smaller facilities where a large fire alarm system isn't necessary. They can be configured as an adjunct to a host fire alarm panel, or as a slave to a 4020 or 4100 fire alarm panel. So let's jump right into this. For this demonstration, the 4003 is configured as an adjunct to a 4004 fire alarm panel. The signals include a 4903 9148 speaker strobe, a 4902 9703 speaker, and a 4903 9101 strobe plate with a 2902 9732 speaker. The only initiating device is a 2099 9769 pole station. The 4003 is configured to play slow whoop and the standard evac message. So here we go. please may I have your attention please we will be testing the fire alarm system please disregard any signals you may see or hear until further notice once again we will be testing the fire alarm system please disregard any signals you may see or hear until further notice thank you
has been cleared. You may return to your normal activities. Attention. Your attention, please. The building emergency condition has been cleared. You may return to your normal activities. Attention. Your attention, please. The building emergency condition has been cleared. You may return to your normal activities. It may not be a 4100 plus voice system, but the Frozen 3 works nicely for smaller systems. The Frozen 3 contains two switches for manual evac and all clear. A local microphone and an optional remote microphone allow paging on the speaker circuits. On the right is the main power supply. The small card next to it is a signal card, configured as four speaker circuits. An extra signal card can be added for DC signals, such as strobes. Both the signal cards and power supply are shared with the Frozen 9 NAC power extender. Next over is a 75 watt amplifier, and lastly is the voice controller assembly. The controller and the amplifier are derived from 4100 voice systems. The controller contains the voice chipset, a tone generator, basic operator controls, and supervision of other Frozen 3 components. The Frozen 3 chipset contains the raw tones and voice messages. It's similar to standard chipset 1 on a 4100 voice system, but with different messages. Custom messages can be recorded for specialized applications. The Frozen 3 can be configured using dip switches and some jumpers on the controller assembly. The jumpers can toggle coded or temporal tone option, as well as communication settings for connection to a 4020 or 4100 panel. Dip switches are used to select tone and message options in adjunct mode. In slave mode, this switches set the baud rate and ROI address for the Frozen 3. In adjunct mode, the Frozen 3 is activated by a signal circuit from the host panel. It can also activate the host panel if the manual evac switch is used. In slave mode, the ROI terminals allow for communication with the 4020 or 4100 panel. The slave mode provides additional features to the final system, such as detailed trouble messages and spoken walk test. When first released, the Frozen 3 provided a standalone voice system for a variety of smaller simplex panels. Its simplified design complemented smaller systems, but it also had additional features for larger advanced systems. The Frozen 3 EC would replace the Frozen 3 by the late 2000s. They can still be found in buildings today, but are slowly getting replaced. The new 4017ES Fire Alarm panel could serve as a 2-in-1 replacement for systems with a Frozen 3. In any case, if you have any questions or comments on the Frozen 3, feel free to post them below. But until next time, this was the 4003 voice control panel. Have a nice day.